Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Root Beer here with question number 22 on the 2017 Pascal paper. So hopefully you've given this one a bit of a try. Let's dive in and take a look. In the diagram, U, V, W, X is a rectangle that lies flat on, the ho on a horizontal floor. That doesn't look like a rectangle, but I think we're in perspective here. A vertical semicircular wall, yeah, so there's some three-dimensional stuff going on here, with diameter XW is constructed. Point Z is the highest point on this wall. So it's the, the top of the arc of the semicircle. It's going to lie right above the midpoint there. Just observations. If UV equals 20 and VW equals 30, the perimeter of UVZ... So this is going to be a triangle that sort of rises up to meet Z, but it's still a triangle. So the perimeter of that is closest to. Okay. Well, I'll draw my own copy of the picture, and uh, we're going to see where we go from there. Uh, maybe a little too big to do some calculations, but uh, we'll, we'll make it a little smaller. Nope. This time. Eh, close enough. And we put our semicircle here. Okay. So, we've got Z up here. And... We want to connect and get the perimeter of this red triangle, which sort of rises up. Okay. And we've got U, V, W, and X over here. Odd that there's no Y point, but that's okay. I mean, I would have I would have called Z Y myself. All right. So we know some lengths as well. So we already know UV is 20 and VW is 30. So this is 20, this is 30. But because it's a rectangle, WX is also 20. And as I said, Z being the highest point means that it rises right above the halfway here. So our radius here is going to be 10, and that also happens to be... The, the height of Z is above the flat floor that the rectangle is placed on. Okay. So now, if we look at it from above, we have our very thick semicircle, and right in the middle there is Z. Looking at right from above and down, and this is a, often a nice trick for three-dimensional questions, it's very hard to perceive things in, in uh, three dimensions. Uh, unless you have some props hanging around, and I do mention that occasional, or I do mention sometimes that it might be a good idea to bring the occasional prop in, if your proctor will allow it. But um, because it's hard to visualize things in three dimensions, but very easy to visualize things in two dimensions, sometimes just viewing the whole thing from the side or from the top can make things uh, a lot clearer and tell you where to set things up. Because we're all a lot more familiar with two-dimensional geometry. So I'm doing a top-down view. I don't know if this is necessarily going to help, but from the top down, looks like we have a triangle like this. Now do be careful. If you view it this way and start doing calculations like, oh, this is 30 and this is 10, you're not going to get this length being, uh, you know, with the right angle here, it's not going to be the square root of 10 squared plus 30 squared, right? This is just a perspective trick. You might think that it's the, the proper length, but you're missing the fact that it's rising up to meet Z. And so there's a bit more to it than that. Okay, But now I, I can sort of realize, well, underneath the red line, if we sort of let it cast its shadow, we do have uh, this purple line. And this purple line is going to be the hypotenuse of a 10-30 triangle. Okay. And what does this, this shadow, this purple line, help us do? Well, since it lies directly below the red line, it, along with the, the radius that rises up to meet Z, 
gives us another right angle triangle. Okay. So I'm going to let uh, Y be the midpoint there. So now VY squared is VW squared plus YW squared. But that's 30 squared plus 10 squared. And that's going to be 900 plus 100. It's going to be 1,000. Now I could square root it and say, oh, okay, this, this length here is square root 1,000. But I don't need it. I want uh, v, VZ, and by the same token, by the way, uh, by symmetry here, UZ is going to be the same as VZ. So UZ squared is the same as VZ squared, but VYZ is right angled at Y. So this is going to be VY squared, 1,000, plus YZ squared, which is 10. So this is 1,000 plus 10 squared equal to 1100. That's VZ squared, that's also UZ squared. So what did we ask for? We asked for the perimeter. So it's going to be UV plus UZ plus VZ. That's going to be 20 plus the square root of 1100 plus the square root of 1100. And did they ask for closest to? I think they did. That's closest to. Um, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to pull out these 10s. It's going to be 10 plus 2 plus 2 root 11. And so I'm just going to grab my calculator now. So square root of 11 times 2 plus 2 is 8.633. Multiply that by 10, I get 86.33. So I'll mark that down. 0.3324 if we really want more of this, but we're closest to 86. Is that one of the options? It absolutely is. So we bubble in B. And that wraps up question number 22. Join me in the next video for question number 23 on the 2017 Pascal. I will see you guys there. Have a wonderful day.